Hi all, thanks for joining me in the studio for the next Christmas in July mandala dot project. This is the glitter white wine glass and this is the second project that was voted on by my uh, mandala group, my Facebook group. Um, let's go ahead and get started. The materials that we're going to use for this are a wine glass. I just got it from the Dollar Tree and I think it's a 21 inch uh, wine glass or 21 ounce rather wine glass. You can see it's pretty big and then of course our regular tools I'm using two colors of paint. I'm going to actually try a new paint from Deco Arts. It's a gloss enamel glitter and then I'll be using the gloss enamel shimmery silver and of course uh, the stencil to help us with our guidelines. Of course we'll clean the glass with um, some alcohol before we get started. You really do want to make sure it's nice and clean and then I will go ahead and get this set up so that I can do my marks. I'm going to use a Sharpie to make the marks and I'll mark the base first and then I'll just turn the glass over and I'll be able to um, move the marks uh, up to the bowl of the glass. One thing I want to tell you about the making the mark um, make sure that your marks, you're not painting over your marks because those actually will show through, that Sharpie will show through on the underside of the glass. So make sure you're doing a little bit above where you want to start painting. And then I'm going to start here with my G6 four millimeter crochet hook to put a row of dots. And um, I was a little bit out of frame so I went ahead and got um, the first couple of rows on and um, you can see that I've got um, 12 uh, dots around for the first row and now I'll just put two additional rows so I'll have a total of three rows using the G6. Alright and now we're going to move on and I'm using the next largest size uh, up which is the H8 5 millimeter and I'll place a couple rows of those dots and you can see that that's really um, looking pretty that uh, right now that paint is quite um, opaque but I can see the glitter in it so it's really pretty I don't know, really know how it's going to turn out when it dries but it's looking pretty so far alright now I'm going to move up and I'm using the I9 5.5 and I'll get a couple of rows now I'm moving up to the L10 or L11 8 millimeter And we'll get those all the way around. Staying with the um, L11 8mm, I'll put another row down. Okay, and now I'm using that shimmering silver and my largest nail daughter to place um, a circlet of dots, so I'm just walking the dots around each one of those, that last uh, row of dots. And I do, it's just my preference, I do one side and then I go back and do the other side. Uh, but you can do it however is most comfortable for you. and I'll just keep walking those all the way around so I've sped this up
And now I'm doing the other side. Okay. Now I made a little mess up. I actually, my hand kind of touched that paint, so I'm just using a Q-tip to roll that paint off and scrape some of it off so I can redot that. All right, and now I'm going in with the M13 9mm to put a row in. And using my largest nail dotter, I will dot around that again with that shivering silver. Now both of these paints are gloss enamel, so that means uh, you can cure them per the manufacturer's instructions, which is four days, um, and then you bake it in an oven, um, and uh, then it's dish dishwasher safe. So that's really nice thing about these particular paints. So just keep going around with walking the dots. This is a simple pattern, but it's really elegant, and I love the fact that it's kind of a winter look. So it'll make a really pretty wine glass. You know, I'm doing it for winter, for Christmas in July, but this would make a really pretty wedding glass, I think. As I look at that, I think it would be lovely. Um, if you made a set for, uh, for a newlywed couple. Now I'm going in and filling in some of the um, spaces just so I have a little it's just a little tighter and I'm using my G6 four millimeter to add some additional dots and you can just kinda look at your glass and see do you have extra space that you want to try to fill in and just fill it in I'm still using the M13 nine millimeter and I'll place another uh, row and I will walk the dots. I think the glass is really starting to take form and it's really, really pretty. I love these colors together. I don't know that you can see the sparkle yet, but as that glitter paint is drying, I can start to see the glitter. And we'll just keep going all the way around. When I'm setting my glass down, it's because I'm cleaning my tool. Uh, just to make sure the paint's not building up. Now I'm going to fill in that spaces again with the G6 four millimeter. Just filling in those empty spaces. And now I'm going to do a special little design here. It's a sort of a little, I don't know, a little kind of cross type design. Um, I think you can see it better here, actually. I'll do three dots down. I'm using the G6, four millimeter, three dots down, and then one uh, in between those top uh, last two dots that I put down. You'll have a better look at it here in just a minute. It's just to give it a little extra design element. And you can kind of see that on the inside of that glass. There you go. Another shot. Now I'm using my um, P16 11.5 millimeter to place another row of dots.
And now I'm going to crown these dots. So I've got my G6 4 millimeter, and I'm putting a dot right straight above on the center and then one on either side. So I've got sort of three large dots at the top there. Can you see that? Yep. And I'll do that all the way around. And that'll give it a really nice crown. Okay, coming up on the last one here. Now I'm going to walk the dots around. See those that's starting to form the crown. Now I'm going to walk around using my largest nail dotter and just walk those around. Got one side down, and uh, now I'll go around the other side. All right, now I've got another design element on this crown. So I have my three, and I'm taking my nail daughter, largest nail daughter, and I'm walking, you know, just a little uh, uh, sort of spike on each one of those. And then I'll go on either side of it and place another little dot. And you'll get a better look at that in just a moment to see what that design looks like. Because I'm kind of finishing up that crown and giving it a nice sort of look at the top. There's so many different ways that you can make these designs um, as you're working with each of your dots. So I thought this one was really pretty and it gives it a nice kind of lacy edge kind of like Pico if you know what that is there you go you can kind of see a better look at that now and I'm going in now um, as I have done on the other rows using my G6 4 millimeter and just filling in some of that empty space you can adjust the size of your tool depending on how much space you have, or you can leave it if, you, if yours are fairly tightly, um, you know, fairly close together, then you don't need to add that additional piece. Now I'm going to dot the bottom and, um, of course, have the marks at the bottom. And for the first ones, I'm using the M13 9mm to place four dots. And then I'll use the Shimmering Silver and my largest nail dotter to walk the dots around. Get you a little bit closer here. Now I'm going to move a little bit faster. I'm using my K10.5, 6.5 millimeter to place a dot in between the previous ones. And just like I did with the crowns on the uh, edge at the top of the glass. I'm using my largest nail dotter to put three uh, larger dots on the top of that one dot to form the crown. And I'll use exactly the same pattern. I'll just use slightly smaller tools to walk the dots around. Oops. 
Oops. It's fairly easy to get this paint off when it's wet. Um, okay, good. So we'll just finish that up, and now I'll finish just like I did at the top to finish up the crown on each one of those. And now I'm just using my largest nail dotter and that glitter white uh, to just add a few little extra accents. So I'm putting a smaller dot above um, above uh, the, those larger dots. And then I'm using my um, my G6 four millimeter to add some additional dots. It's a little maybe a little bit harder to see here. But I'm filling in that space and then I'm just using my nail dotter to just add a few little walk you know walking dots there uh, down and then I'll add some at the top. And that's just to fill in some of the space with a little extra design. Yep, you see? There you go. At the bottom. I'm going to set this aside to dry. And then I did do top dots on this one. I just went back with the shimmering silver and did a top dot on each one of those glitter dots. And you can see, oh, isn't that pretty? I just love the way that turned out. And you can start to see the shimmer. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. There's the bottom. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this second project in our Christmas in July series. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care.